Hello everybody, Damascus Fox here, and today I'm doing another look at video. If you're somebody like me, but your name is mostly on aesthetics, but sometimes even materials or mechanisms, then this is the video for you. And today I'll take a quick look at this. This is the Best Tech uh, Texel. This is a pretty interesting knife. Definitely, definitely EDC friendly. Now let's take a quick look at this guy. I'm just going to tell you a quick bit about it, and this is not a review. Just going to, you know, give you a quick rundown or overview. Um, uh, the steel on this guy is Sandvik uh, 12C27, uh, which I've heard pretty good things about that steel. Uh, so far, it's definitely been holding up uh, in my rudimentary day-to-day -day, uh, testing. Um, yeah, I don't like really beat the crap out of my knives. Uh, just basic everyday EDC tasks. Uh, some days I don't even I go through a day without even ever really using my knives, which is kind of sad. Uh, but yeah, so I don't, I don't do like really hardcore testing. So, you know, take my reviews with a grain of salt. I basically review on a basis of, of just general, uh, everyday use. That's just how, uh, my channel is tailored towards, but this is not a review. Just going to give you a quick rundown. Uh, G10 handles. These are white G10 handles and, uh, the, uh, with it. The other blade on this guy is a sheep's foot with a flat grind, so it's very nice and slicey. Yes, and this is a really, really cool uh, sheep's foot. I like the way how they did the swedge up here. And you got jimping right there, uh, no blade play, uh, standard pocket clip, just a basic, you know, piece of metal. Uh, it's not deep carry, it's going to go right around there. And yeah, and it's got a lanyard hole. And, uh, Finish on this guy is a black stone wash. This is designed. The designer is Adam uh, Purvis. Hope I pronounced that correctly. And uh, this is made in China. The price on this guy is uh, I got this from Blade HQ. I got it on sale for like thirty something dollars, but the usual price is forty nine ninety five. On Amazon, uh, you can get. Uh, not this particular model, uh, one of the other ones, uh, for $52, and then on Knife Center for uh, 52 as well. Uh, but I believe the one on Amazon and Knife Center might be the D2 version. This is the uh, Sandvik 12C27. Um, Blade HQ also has the D2 uh, steel version, and there's also a v huge variety, a pretty good variety of uh, scale colors and uh, blade finishes. There's also a two-tone finish, which is really pretty looking, uh, and like red, yellow, uh, jade G10, so that's actually cool, and they also come with a variety of uh, backspacer colors as well, so that's also fun. Uh, I did take this knife apart, uh, so I'll probably do a disassembly video in the future on this guy. Uh, it is on bearings, so the action is really nice. I uh, messed up I believe it was these two, might have been these two, or maybe it was these two. I messed up some of the body screws. So I got them stripped because uh, T6s suck. Um, so it won't. It will be a decent disassembly, but unfortunately, I won't be able to disassemble it completely because I screwed up the body screws. Uh, but otherwise, I can still take the knife uh, knife apart. Action on this guy, good, because it's got a nice flipper. I like the way how that flipper is designed. Pretty cool uh, pivot design right there. And, oh, cut test. Can't forget the cut test. Uh, now, I use this guy quite a bit on cardboard, and I've never uh, sharpened it or touched it up. So this is factory edge after being used quite a bit. Okay, as you can see, and if you can hear that, it is sharp, but it's not super sharp. It's a, uh, it's making very loud cuts, and it definitely I can feel it getting slow and snag on things. Uh, otherwise, it still will, it still will do the job well. But yeah, I think it's time for me to give it a give it a touch up. Yeah, not the sharpest thing, but. Keep in mind, I did I did 
use it on quite a bit of cardboard. So, yeah. But it did come out of the box, uh, to my memory, decently sharp. Not wicked sharp, but good enough for what you pay for, in my opinion. But yeah, I'm probably going to give this guy a touch-up. Well, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like more knife and EDC related content, check out my other videos. Remember to subscribe because I post every Saturday and every other Sunday. And there'll be more knives and more videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. And have a fantastic day. Bye.